Heads up, network admins, and security professionals. Fortinet has just announced a major change as cell VPN in tunnel mode is being completely removed starting with 40 OS 7.6.3. If you're still using SSL VPN, this video is a must watch. For years, SSL VPN has been a go-to solution for remote access, but times are changing. Fortinet is officially phasing out SSL VPN tunnel mode in 40 OS 7.6.3 and later versions. The question is why, and more importantly, what should you do before upgrading? In this video, we'll break down the reasons behind this change, the benefits of switching to IPsec, and a step-by-step -step migration plan to avoid disruptions. Let's dive in. Why is Fortinet removing SSL VPN? Fortinet isn't making this decision lightly. Here are the key reasons behind the shift. Enhanced security. IPsec VPN uses stronger encryption protocols compared to SSL VPN, reducing vulnerabilities and keeping your remote connections more secure. Better performance and lower latency. IPsec is optimized for speed, offering lower latency and better throughput ideal for bandwidth-heavy applications. Alignment with modern security frameworks. The industry is moving toward zero trust network access, ZTNA, and secure access service edge, SACE. IPsec fits better into these modern architectures. So, while this change might seem sudden, it's actually a step forward in security and performance. What should you do before upgrading to 40 OS 7.6.3? If you're still using SSL VPN, don't panic, but you need a plan. Here's how to migrate smoothly. Step one, identify all SSL VPN users. Check your 40 gate logs to see who's still using SSL VPN. You don't want any surprises after upgrading. Step two, gradually migrate users to IPsec VPN. Start moving users in batches. This lets you catch issues early instead of dealing with a flood of support tickets. Step three, test and troubleshoot the new setup, run performance tests, check firewall rules, and ensure all applications work properly over IPsec. Step four, only upgrade after full migration. Once all users are successfully on IPsec, then and only then upgrade to 40 OS 7.6.3. Proactive planning here will save you from unexpected downtime and frustrated remote workers. Before we wrap up, here are some extra tips to make this migration seamless. Document the new IPsec configuration. Keep a backup in case of rollbacks. Train your help desk team. Make sure they can handle ISEC related issues. Monitor performance post migration asterisk. Watch for any unexpected bottlenecks. Following these steps will ensure a hassle-free upgrade and keep your remote workforce connected securely.